tricky mean calculations. Sometimes a mean calculation can look quite simple, but when you come to add them together, you notice that it's not as easy as it initially seemed. The total of all of these five values is 24. So to work out the mean, you need 24 divided by 5. That doesn't go exactly. Let's do a bus stop. How many 5's in 2? The answer is 0. Remainder 2. How many 5's in 24? That would give us 4, but we'd end up with a remainder of 4. Well, 4 remainder 4 doesn't really mean much, so the best way to do it is try and do it as a decimal. So let's try that sum again. How many 5's in 2? You get 0. Carry forward the 2. Now I know when I do 5s into 24 I'm going to get a remainder, so I'm going to put a decimal point in here and here and add three zeros, though I might not need them all. How many 5s in 24? The answer is 4. There's a remainder of 4, so I'm going to put it in front of the first zero. So now I can say how many 5s in 40? The answer is 8. As I have no more remainder, I can cross off those two zeros, I won't be needing them. The answer is 4.8, which makes a lot more sense than 4 remainder 4.